Hello people, this is Bjergis here and today we shall play the episode 2 of Telltale Games Game of Thrones. So, let's dive deeper, shall we? Previously, some These shit are dark happened. days, I fear. <laughs> the North Grove must never be lost. You're sending him to the war. The boy's done nothing wrong. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Duncan. I've decided to name you as my sentinel. I'm just worried about my family. The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. Are you willing to risk an alliance with the crown? I'm sorry, Lord Tyrion. But it's a risk I cannot afford. Since your mother you asked me to cross the narrow you. sea to find your brother, Rasher. We don't want White Hill men within these walls. You can be my highborn ward. Yep, that was a shocker. No! I mean, quite obviously, you see. Don't let them take me! Any of the Game of Thrones, but I'm already. But still, it came quite as a shock. So let's see where it takes us from there. Whoa, it's just me, Beska. Took you long enough. The rail's getting warm. Or warmer, I should say. You can stop pacing. This They'll stuff is weak soon. compared to Northern Ale. It's chaos out there since the Masters fled. This place could use a good cleaning. I complained to the owner. Is that wine? Or blood? Taste it and find out. No thanks. Beska, is this from us? Only a forester brings his axe all the way to Essos. Wicked little thing, though. Looks like we weren't the first to rough up the place. Apparently, there's been quite a fight. Fragrant. I know, I know. Woman sellsword, four years fighting by your side and you still can't get over it. Come on, Asha, quit staring, let's get to drinking. Ale. It goes in yellow, comes out yellow, waste of time even drinking it if you ask me. Considering we found it in an abandoned tavern, it's not bad. They smell off to you. It's the only thing in Yunkai that doesn't. I know. It's a filthy haven for thieves, murderers and other deadly bastards. You should feel right at home. I know I do. May we drink, thieve, and fight until the end. I'll drink to that. <laughs> You'll drink to anything. Oh, yes, I do. Another round? Yes, I do, my lady. Ah. 
Have you forgotten about our honored and exalted guest? Go see if he's still breathing. How's he doing? We need him alive to collect his bounty. After that... He looks fine. Fat and scared. Good. Let him stay that way. Until we collect our gold, at least. 800 gold dragons for capturing him. Lucky we caught him trying to flee Yunkai. Lucky for us. Not so lucky for him. We should find more former slave masters with bounties on their heads. I don't need any more naked fat men in my life, thank you. Oh. They say only the poor know how to really spend money. We'll buy the finest wines, the best whores. Sleep in a bed without fleas? Sounds nice, doesn't it? Who needs the best whores when the bad ones are so much more fun? I knew I liked you for a reason. My point is, with enough coin we could do anything. Go anywhere. I could afford passage back to Westeros. To Ironroth. I've heard nothing from my family in years. You mean go home? They treated you like shit there. Kicked you out because you fell in love with a girl from the wrong damn house. Gwyn. A man doesn't choose who he loves. Your family should understand that. Westeros and its bloody houses. Who fucking cares? It's all an excuse to tell everyone else what to do. They're still my family. My brothers and sisters. They had nothing to do with it. I suppose that's true. Just remember. We have a good thing here. And any moment now, we're gonna be rich. I believe you're going to die. I'm Let's make to a toast. Rose. To all of us deadly bastards. To us. Aye, to us. Oh, you're God. not that drunk, are you? Okay. Sorry. Yes, I am. What the fuck? Fine, have it your way. God damn it. Can't even press a simple goddamn Best button. Yet, I thought freed slaves put the bounty on Bazaar. They did. With his own gold. So why are the fucking Lost Legion here? Oh, is that Tazal? From the Volantis job? Maybe he's forgotten about that. You! I told you if I saw you again! Tazal! Isn't it funny how life brings old friends together? Now cut your fucking throats! Yep. It's good to see you too, Tazal. Where is he? Where's who? Here. 400 dragons. They must be working for the Wise Masters. And that's all you're getting. Bounty is 800. You get four. It's more than you deserve. Give us 800 and you can have him. Don't be an asshole now. We're all sell swords here. We are nothing like you. The Lost Legion are the blood of all Valeria. We are done taking orders from whimpering pigs! Bloody hell! And we're done with you, too. Don't talk to my men! Tazal, what the hell have you done? You two are going to be useful to me for once. Not bloody likely. The wise masters will hear how Asha Forrester kidnapped the venerable Bezak. How oh, he wouldn't take less than 800 gold dragons, so he killed Bezak instead. Me? Luckily, we were there to deliver swift justice. So you steal the money, and we get the blame. Ponteos in us! Forjos me no mi so kisikas! Not today, I'm afraid. Get down! Ah! All right, who dies first? Who wants to dance at the end of the sword? Kill them! Now! Uh, uh, no one! No one! Here's one! Uh, 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 
What the fuck? God. Come on! Sicko de no pass me! Hell. What's wrong with the goddamn buttons? For some. Oh, well. Sicko de no pass me! Pobita <laughs> on! You owe me one. Shit. This is for Volantis. Pesca. Fuck you, Ash. That's all. Cost of a kitties. Kubrenis. Gilimbonios. So much death. You know what this reminds me of? <laughs> that brothel in Novos. The Lost Legion won't stop until you and your friend are dead. I guess I won't be the friendly type. To Saul! Kill them both! Asha! <laughs> What in all the gods of fire and fuck? Who the fuck is he? My uncle. Tazal? Fuck. More on their way. We need to go. Come on. Malcolm. Damn. We have to keep moving. Malcolm, stop. Asher, I'm glad I found you, my boy. It's been far too long. What are you doing here? Your brother Ethan sent me. I'm here to bring you home.
That's far enough. I come from the twins bearing the dead of House Forrester. Lordly types from the looks of them. All right, we'll take them. Well, they're not free, are they? How much are you paying for them? Sir Royland. You again. Who <laughs> have you got this time? Some poor peasant dressed up like a I, lord. Uh, a Ryan. stable boy was... in Bannerman's clothes. You did this at Duskendale, and you have the oh, fucking souls to try it again. No, I... This house has suffered the loss of many good men, and you dare come here claiming to have forest uh, dead. They're forest. Look at... Lee. <laughs> now. Fine. I'll dump them in the river then. You come back here again, you won't be leaving. You got that? I, I heard you. That was a sheep fucker. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I don't worry yourself. <laughs> what is it, sir? This one's still alive. You there? Who are you? It's me. Roderick. Roderick? Roderick! Oh, the gods, it is you! Sir? Fetch the maester, hurry! Oh. Fetch the maester! Roderick! Milk of a puppy. Drink. Come now. That's it. Roderick! My lady! I am at a very delicate moment in the surgery. Please, I want to see my son. How is he? Will he live? Sir, my lady, I must insist that you leave. No. Roderick, what have they done to you? These wounds would have killed any other man. As it is, he may never walk again. Roderick? What's wrong with him? He drank the milk of the poppy. Please don't leave me. Not yet. If it wouldn't be a Game of Thrones game, I would have never died. But well, I'm not sure. Are you alright? 
Kom eens, Estelle. How bad is it? Maestor Tengren says your leg may never fully heal. And your face. I'm more beautiful than ever. These wounds will heal, Talia. I know. You'll be your old self before we know it. Roderick, there's something you need to know. Ethan is dead. Ethan? Bruce Bolton's bastard came here and threatened to take me away. Ethan grabbed me. And that monster put a blade through his throat. Like it was nothing. Ethan? How could this happen to him? We'll make Ramsay pay for what he did. I promise. Good. We're Holy planning to honor cat. Ethan in the grove, alongside father. And now mother wants me to write this song for the funeral. I can't. You can, Dahlia. I know you can. It's been chaos here since he died. We have White Hill soldiers stationed in our courtyard. Even the small folk don't feel safe. You need to show everyone who this house belongs to. You need to let me worry about that. We're all worried. I know you still need time to heal, but... I'll be fine, Talia. Council's meeting in the Great Hall right now, actually. Nobody expects you there, but if you think you're ready... I want to go. Can you even stand? They could use your leadership. But if you're not ready... Only one way to find out. I missed you, brother. You can do this, Roderick. Not with my I know you can. God damn it. <laughs> Roderick. <laughs> Fine. Why'd you do that? I won't let anyone see you like this. Not when the house appears so weak already. I was rolled in on a corpse, cat. The damage is done. But you're the lord of the house now. You must appear strong, solid. You can't do that on the floor. It's a long way to the Great Hall. We can't risk you falling where others can see. Take my hand. Let me help you. Thank you, Talia. But we ain't gonna be Ready? like the... Well, you know who. That's it. <laughs> I mean, any other game you wouldn't even have a thought like this, but it's Game of Thrones, so sibling love. Everyone will be so course. glad to see you up. God damn it. Though, I think you'll find that much has changed.
so black. So this is the seat of the night's watch. The wall. Always wanted to see it. But not like this. Recruits at the gate! for Frostfinger. On a horse, no less. Giants, doesn't it? You're new, here to take the black. Because mm. you got that look about you. Yep, I Aye, I am. Thought so. I'm new here myself. Frostfinger, he's the one you want. Handles all new recruits. Which one's Frostfinger? That grizzled old prune over there. Says us new recruits are all dead men. But don't let him scare you. <laughs> that's just his way. You seem nice. That's not so good round here. You fight like a girl. A wildling girl, maybe. No. What's in these barrels? It's pitch. Throw it off the wall and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Gotta be faster. Huh. It's warm. As a squire, I serve Lord Forrester of Ironrath. A squire from Ironrath. And how does a squire get himself sent to the wall? You're a thief. A raper. You abandon your post. Or do you just fancy dying someplace cold? I killed a man who murdered my family. Then you know how to fight, at least. And you're no liar, either. How do you know my name? From Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of House Forester. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit, but then he asks us to make you a ranger. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. You are a killer. Even if you are man enough to own up to it. Yes, sir. Now then, we'll start your training in the morning. For today, you need a cot and a cloak. Understood. Oh, and Tuttle. Sooner or later, the Night's Watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. And last we'd heard, Asher was in Slaver's Bay. So, Malcolm caught a ship, headed for... 
I heard they took him off a corpse cart. <laughs> and he's missing his arms and legs. <laughs> At least he can still eat his shit. The White Hill soldiers are drunk again. <laughs> and we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. Well, I say he's dead. And they've dressed up some peasant in his place. Fill me up, would you? And bring us some salted pork while you're at it. <laughs> Fill yourself up, you lazy fuck. Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? He's hideous. <laughs> Had a run-in with Walder Frey, cool. did you? And he's leaning on a girl. Should have buried him with the corpses. Forest is Real cursed. shame about your leg, I give it a toss. Don't let go of your sister now. We have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> Go round. Move aside, soldier. I'm quite comfortable, thank you. And I don't think you're gonna make me. I wonder what's weaker, your legs, or this house? Move! Now! You... you hurt me? Go on then, my lord. Ridiculous. You're treating them like The guests. wine keeps their wits dull. It makes us look weak. Both of you, please. So you'd rather they riot? Duncan, you're a damn fool sometimes. It doesn't matter what you think. I was chosen as sentinel. My lords. Roderick. My boy. Come, join us. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. It's good... <clears throat> it's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking. If you walked again at all. It was highly probable. I told you he'd be up and about. I'm not here to talk about my elf. Perhaps we should get started. Yes, let's. Dahlia's told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim, my lord. No thanks to your sentinel. He's been getting the White Hill soldiers drunk. It keeps them off their guard. They think you're a bloody fool. My lord, please. Oh, oh, I'm a fool. At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsay stole them. I've told you! I was keeping an eye on the Bolton soldiers! You should have been protecting your lord! Now Ethan's dead, and Ryan a hostage. And what have you done to get him back? Nothing! Because we have no army! I am your lord. Of course. Apologies, my lord. The White Hills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves, but we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. If we don't have one. Not anymore. Summon our allies, then. I'm afraid we have none left, my lord. We've heard little from the Glovers since the Ironborn took Deepwood Mott. Houses Helliver, Grayson and Brownbarrow were all slaughtered at the Twins. 
and the rest of our allies are terrified of the Boltons. You forget the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now! He's barely recovered. Why is she coming here? She means to pay her respects to your father. But it could also be a chance to solidify our arrangement. If she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground! Yes, this marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. We're talking about a marriage, not an Ironwood contract. Talia does have a point. I'm not the man I used to be. You can still make her happy, Roderick. And she can do the same for you. Oh, goddammit. If Elena does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute. Keep them drunk. It's better than inciting them to violence. Yes, my lord. Now, if there's nothing more to discuss. Maester. It's time to light the Ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. Welcome back, my lord. It's got to be back. Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him. And Ethan. How is your song coming? Ethan always helped me with music. It's not the same without him. You have to be strong, Talia. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. It's entirely ridiculous. If it's not the flowers, it's the food or the table settings. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. And mm, something nice after that. We will make a sizable donation in the name of King Joffrey. A little presumptuous of you, Mira, but I like it. They'll be very grateful. Yeah, that's the show. I know what you do. And the seal. Here you are. Oh. Are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. I have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. What is it, Mira? It's from my mother. She asks that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? 
Ah, it's my help she's after, isn't it? She's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. Forgive my mother. She doesn't see the harm in what she does. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But it wouldn't be very discreet you'd be forcing their hand. That isn't the way I do things. You pushed me before and you saw the results. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. I'd better get going. Mira, we'll talk more later. If Lady Marjorie wrote a letter... Dear Lady Elena, no, dearest Lady Elena. Uh, probably we she took the seal show. with her. Hopefully a signature will do. Mira, Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Elena of House Glenmore. I've never heard of the Glenmores. I know you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and... and all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. If you don't mind. Go ahead, then. Well, it's... We really should get these letters sent first. Do you need any help with them? I've got them. Be new here, but you're in my spot. So move. Wrong fucking answer. Most of you will be dead within the year. <sighs> Frostfinger and his bloody speeches. If you want to survive in the night's watch, listen close. You know why I got sent to the wall? The wall was erected over 8,000 years ago to defend the realm what? from wildlings. White At this girl I used to fuck Snow now and again. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Turned out she was married to some lordling. He tried to stick me with this. I stuck it in him instead. So next time I say move, you'd best fucking move. Shut up for once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. And what dire crime are you here for? Fucking potatoes. Potatoes? I got caught stealing a bag of them. You both need to stop talking. Nobody cares, thief. Don't call me that. My name's Cotter. Cotter the potato thief. 
There's one for the songs. Oi, my sister was hungry. I've got something for your sister. Hey, don't fucking talk about my sister, all right? Will you stop arguing? Who in seven hells is talking back there? Total. Who was it? Sorry, sir. It was my fault. Covering for your new brothers already, are you? Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. So today you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow? Are you strong? Those who do well might just survive. The rest of you... Frostfinger. I need a word. Go on, get started. Best of luck, Tuttle. Here we go. Again. Who's up? See those dummies? Those are fens. Come to eat your brains for breakfast. Up here. Can't wander off now. Not a frost finger watching. You there, recruit. Scrawny, aren't you? See if you can carry one of these barrels over to the winch. Right. I can do this. Want some help? Thinking steward for you. You can help Frostfinger wash his cock. If the thing hasn't frozen off. Fuck off, Finn. Bloody ass. Mind your language, Carrot. Doing that all wrong. Well, we don't have these where I. <laughs> Man's Raider will shit himself when he sees you coming. <laughs> Let me show you. Oh, 
All right, let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's arse. Shoot the targets I tell you to. Let's start easy. Middle dummy, center of the chest. You can follow orders at least. Next bolt. Left target, head. Good. Oh, okay. Right target, chest. I missed, but... Not bad. Center, between the eyes. One less wildling. You hit all of them. Nicely done. Yeah, well, it's kind of lousy. Out of eight. Kind of. And just dead. Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. If a real wildling got his hands on him, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took this. Swiped it right off him. Don't tell, all right? I don't think he'd take it kindly. Give it back to him, Cotter. Are you mad? That's the last thing I'll do. home now. Take that! Take that! Oh, Watch your bloody top! You, grab a practice sword. This one should do. Not the bloody wall. I'll be sparring with you today. Remember, these blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. Good luck. Come on, keep at it. Four. Get off me, you bloody ox. You got lucky. You're pathetic. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow is a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my... Where is it? Where the fuck's my knife? If someone has it... I'll cut their fucking balls off! Come to think of it... You were the last one I showed it to! Well, you and... It was you! What? You little fucking thief! It weren't me! Finn, don't... <gasps> Give me my knife! I don't have it, I swear! Out of my way! Got it! Do something! What the fuck? Hey, look! Fight! Fight! Yeah, get it! Here they go again. Get off! What 
What is going on here? He stole my fucking knife! No, I didn't. And Garrett defended him. The last thief I caught no longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. He must have hid it. <laughs> and you? I expected better, Tuttle. Instead, I find you doing this on your first bloody day of training. You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Frostfinger, I need another man to top the wall. Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. Get off! <laughs> Mind your fucking manners. You, come with me. <laughs> 